Return to Motorfest, and you have seen the title. By the way, I absolutely love this RS3. More than I did in the Crew 2, the new handling is so sick. This is not even a drift car. It's not a drift car. 10 million I have in the game. And quite frankly, there isn't much point in having this much money and not spending the damn stuff. I kind of wanted to do this for a while, but now marks the perfect occasion with the new and returning cars in the game. So I am going to spend... 10 million bucks in the game and let's just get away with it so there is a bundle here uh i already have this car but i can purchase this a little bit cheaper than it normally would so that's always worth doing of course i'm going to buy them and actually check them out in some of the cases for example i have tried the drift version of this but i haven't really tried much of the racing version now the other good news is I'm not just going to be buying cars. There's a bunch of other additions to the game, but one of them I'm most excited about, other than burning my money away. Give me that Audi S1 e-tron. Thank you. Let's go. Over on the activities, the Grand Race has received 11 more routes, and some cars have got brand new sounds. They've replaced them. They've changed them. Or at least in some of the cases, they've made some modifications. Red is the only color I'll go stock on this thing. It, 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 it needs it. Give me the black wheels. 420. Thank you. Thank you. So the money's not going to last me long in this game. <laughs> it would be sensible. And I know it's actually easier in a lot of cases to. Oh, yes, yes. I know it's easier in a lot of cases to buy it in the crew too and import it over. But I actually have more money in this game. Oh, I still have a bottle. Here's a fun story about the Supra. I do actually own it. It's literally customized and in my account. You've already seen in the video, I'm sure, that I bought this thing, but I can't actually use it. Hell, it's got 750. I've upgraded the damn thing. But the problem is I pre-ordered on PC. Well, I pre I got access to the game on PlayStation from Ubisoft. They sent me a code, but on PC, I then pre-ordered it. And so I got access to the car. But of course, I still now need to buy the damn thing so I can access it on PlayStation. But my friends, the deed is done purchase i kind of hope the customization stays there she is stunning i'm so glad that this is back and actually i can drive it on the playstation and the pops and bangs are actually here i cannot wait to see what those are going to be like especially with some of the modifications on there but again this is not a drift car this is not the drift edition but it's very easy in the crew motor fest compared to the crew 2 to actually get into a little bit of a slide but i love it i, I love the blue the bright colors on the on the spotty coupe very very nice at least i get to keep my wait i can't put vanity on this never mind that was kind of stupid so let's have a look at the zonda f or the zonda r and would you look at that i have both so i'm gonna start with a zonda r because obviously all right now the problem is It sounds good, but the thing is, we can't compare and contrast to the previous unless someone's already done a video on it. And I think I already drove it, but I can't actually tell if I'm completely honest with you. It sounds spicy. It doesn't sound 100% right, but hey, if they say it's improved, I'm here to believe them. Then we can swap car. That sounds so impeccable. I am in love. A little bit more subtle on the outside, but that sounds awesome. There's a whole bunch of changes to cars, including cars with some combination changes. So uh, pretty interesting. If you're interested, there is a list. I'll link the change log down below in the description. The Koenigsegg Yesco is apparently one of them. This is a pretty common car considering the fact it's it's pretty OP. Oh, well, that definitely sounds a little bit raspier at the startup. Hmm, I don't know. Let's go for a drive. Oh my goodness. Well, that's definitely, definitely different. They changed the tone of that quite considerably. I'm not sure how I feel. <laughs> just to make sure I don't have any damn vanity on here, because that would uh, definitely change the noise of it. I've just got the rumble and tumble backfire, which should actually give us a little bit of different pop and actually the flames more so hopefully there's also changes to the regera the koenigsegg one if you use specific mods but hey i'm gonna let you look at the rest if you're interested in that because this video give me the rumble someone give me the oh it's a big pops it's all about buying new ones you know the suggestions that it keeps popping up with here are actually pretty Five hundred thousand for are you having me on that is so much money but 
the one of the main reasons I kind of want to do this is there's no point having all the money and having no bloody cars to go along with it. And I actually want to go through a lot of 500,000 for a BMW. Are you joking? Fine, fine. We'll uh, get it done. Because if we get through all of these cars, at least a lot of them, I'll be able to tell a lot easier what's actually new. I don't have the base Supra, for example. Why? I, I don't know. But it costs less than the BMW, which makes zero damn sense. Because this is so much better. Yeah, the suggestions are fantastic. The new Mustang, I don't have that. I'm going to go for a darker blue. I'm, I'm trying to make them somewhat different, but it's kind of difficult. I kind of like blue and purple and red and yet bright colors. He says as he goes for a dark blue. The NSX, for some reason, I don't own that. I, orange, yes. Orange, you glad to be watching this video. So please do subscribe. <laughs> That's the thing. I wanted to try that. Did the button light up in the comments? Let me know. Did the button, the subscribe button light up when I said that button or did it not understand a word I said? Probably that. Bit of blue. Gray wheels. I'm not a Porsche man. This is horrible. I'll get it in the bin. What I would say is like, I, I'm more of a fister man. <laughs> GTA. Oh, come on. Are you? Should I downright refuse? I kind of want to refuse, but I, you know what? I'm doing it. Fine. Suck it up, man. Suck it up. It, it may be useful in a video memeing on it. Stupid big car. Rubbish. Fat house. Worthless. Worse than an estate car. Why? All right, classic Porsches. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Just just go for it. Man wastes 10 million by just buying the car the game suggests. Hey, but there's a Civic Type R. That's not a waste. I'm going for the white. Just to mix it up. Normally, I would, I would go for a color. But mixing up with white. <laughs> two million! That's gonna spend all my money. You could bugger off. I'd spend two million on a bloody French car. Disgraceful. So I guess we'll go down the list now. We are very close to completing Aston Martin. For example, we also do have the Vulcan Duke, which we can't buy. Some of the cars returning to the crew are Summit cars, and you can actually purchase them. Now, some of these are gonna be available later throughout the month, but I said I'm spending 10 million. I've already spent seven. Why have I even bought? Also, Hello? I literally have this car in the crew too. So why do I not have it? I've got to be careful about that. Do I need to re-import my cars? Have I bought cars that... Oh, don't. Do I need to re... It says successfully imported. I've got a feeling I need to restart my game. Let's do that before we carry on. <laughs> I feel like sometimes we just import everything the first time you play the game. But uh, maybe I'm just talking rubbish. Because I didn't see nothing. What a disgrace. I'm an idiot. I swear I have that car. I, I swear on me mum. Anyway, I guess we'll end up buying the damn thing. Again, I, mate, don't even play like that. So we have got a BMW No Rules Edition. What the flying hell is that? Uh, this one is exclusive from the Crew 2, which definitely looks nicer. Mm. BMW, BMW, bin off. I still don't have this. Right, well, that's that's something I need to buy. Uh, it's got to be in the blue, unfortunately. Oh, ooh. Nah, aero disc. E that's so much money. It's not even that good of a car. No one actually uses it because it's not that great. Whatever. We've got some more Bugattis returning. I, sw I swear. Now, there is actually a chance to get the Magma Edition. It's going to be a summit. It is going to be a grind. I'm kind of prepared to do it. I'm not spending... Well, I don't have enough of that Bugatti anymore. Man, I had 10 million. Why, was, why, have, I, why have I done this? This is purchasable in 14 days. I need it in my life. This, there's a new limousine in the game. Of course I want the damn thing. Limousines are cool as what? Okay, this I don't have either. Some more creators cars. Are you kidding me? I don't, I get mixed up. I, I genuinely don't know what I have and, and what I had test <laughs> early access to. See, I already have a special version of the Crown Victoria limousine, but there's another one. Uh, one is in street and one is in thrift. So that could be quite useful, actually. And I'm going to buy in all the pink as well. Because why would you not? And the cheapest lucky wheels. That's a good 200,000 right there. Thank you. There's 52 Fords in this game. Genuinely had no idea there were this many. Aha. Wait. Year one pass. Exclusive available in 70 days. You're telling me we can already see what cars... We're getting in 35 and 70. I guess, to be fair, there's also going to be a new special uh, couple of cars. And not just these, because these ultimately, well, they're one of the two. It makes sense with the Hoonigan theme. We know what we're getting. I, I, kind of annoying. 
This one's also not available. Oh, I'm missing a racing Lamborghini for 700,000. That's kind of tempting. 2.3 million. I, I don't have the CM. Okay, these defenders are actually pretty cool. I'm going to go for those. Bless up. Praise to the high. <laughs> and there's also another one. <laughs> Why am I buying these? Hey, if I want to do some exploration, the defender might be pretty good. We got this Mazda. There's actually quite a few Mazdas that I really do want, of the MX-5 at least. I think I already bought one of them in the Crew 2 to import, but uh, we will see this one. I didn't buy it. Never mind. Load of rubbish. Wait, did I? That I don't know if I have in my collection. All those wheels, are sp I kind of like those ones. This I know has some pretty cool customization, right? Was this the one you had to unlock in the Crew 2? I don't remember. Oh, and this one's also available to purchase. All right, we have got 200,000 left. I have gone through so much of my money. So how about we jump in and actually customize <laughs> some of these cars? Because uh, this, I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of having. But I mean, obviously, oh, it's got the sleepies. Come on. Oh my goodness. Give me the sleepy with the big extra bits all over it. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hell yeah. Go for the wide. Mate, this is beautiful. I do really like these. I might switch back. No, I'm refusing. We're keeping with the theme. Side skirt customization. Yes, a little bit of carbon on the rear. Go for the painted rear wing. Come on. Give me a big. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I've never customized this. And someone's now going to link. Be like, oh, Thea, no, you did this. You did this 20 years ago. Hey, sometimes my brain no worky. This. This is how we doing it. Interior. Red seats. Chops are good. Oh, mate, this sounds amazing. The idol and... I've not put anything on it and it sounds like that. That's beautiful. Now, one of the best ways to check out a whole bunch of cars, obviously, you can drive them in free roam and give them a little hoon in this new location, which actually I found myself using a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, what a hood view. Come on. Get those wheels chirping. There you go. This thing, it definitely doesn't have that much power, to be honest with you. But I definitely want to check out those new events so let's see do we get one of the new routes either way we can test out some of the cars we've got they max out automatically so it's a really good way to test your car and then see yourself get obliterated by the people that just buy and use the fastest cars i don't actually know the routes by heart but this again is just just building it right in front of us there so i'm assuming it's gonna choose different routes all right let's see if we can quickly choose oh wait you got to uh, I can't see them. They're not loading quick enough. They're not loading the image. What's going on? The servers are really being slow. It's going to pick something for me in a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I've done this to my damn self. We're using the Eurus. Hey, it's big and heavy. It might do good. That seems to be the thing in the one of the things in the crew. I actually noticed a lot of people using the Hoonatron. So that will be interesting in the race spec. But of course, I'm using my Bugatti, which... Probably has a better top speed. Either way, we're about to find out. I'm at the back of the pack. So, let's get going. And I didn't turn traction control back on again. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, this is... This is going to go rather well for me. Right at the start, you can already tell. Already all over the damn place compared to everyone. It's a race spec car. It's not going to be that bad. Everything's going to be all over the place. It's not going to be me. Oh, my God. The frame rate is jittery. Oh, my God. This is mental. I wonder how this runs on PS4. <laughs> uh, base, PS4 base Xbox One must be heaving. <laughs> I genuinely think people that pick bikes are mental. Let's see. I picked the Yoris. It's all-wheel drive. We've got a rally car. That might be annoying. This thing is pretty quick, to be fair. The Nissan GTR there. Oh, I definitely need to buy that. I can't believe 10 million goes absolutely nowhere in this game. <laughs> I now need to build my money back up. I've spent 10 million on this video. It, please. This is deserving of destroying that like button. Bull bully that like button. Gotta get into the top 10. Someone's just gone off. There's a lot of Bugattis. It's pretty stiff and aggressive. Where are you going? <laughs> We're just straight off road. Like it was intentional. You need to slow down that much. There's the Hoonitron. Top speed is definitely going to be the issue for that thing. Electric. Yeah, catching up again. And I am quite far behind. I keep rubbing the side of the road there. Scrubbing speed. 
Move out of the way. Acceleration pretty clearly on his side, but uh, Bobby Babo, it is time for the Bugatti. And we shift. I was catching up on another one there. That would have been rubbish for them. Right. This is going to go terribly. Mate, what's happened to the frame rate of this? I don't remember it being <laughs> this unstable. <laughs> Something's changed here, guys. Something's changed. Bruh! Are you kidding? And reset! I need to learn the lines that people... That's, I saw some guy shift off to the left and he was like... Ready to sneak that route. I just <laughs> ruined your day. I'm sorry. What bozo baboon decides to have traction control off when there's literal rally racing? Idiot. This rally section has shut on my bonfire. I am not happy. <laughs> it was going pretty damn well with that Bugatti. I'm actually kind of glad I purchased that. That's going to need some more testing. I know it's not the quickest, but it felt so stable. I love that. Even with traction and stuff off, I'm glad there's not drift because I would have been dead. That would have been it. I, I, I would have just quit the bloody race. <laughs> Into the big one. Hopefully now we can play some catch up. However, maybe they're a bit real and this is going to stay behind. In fact, I might drop behind even more. We'll see. <laughs> this is seriously one of the worst places you can be. I am between both crowds. I'm in a gap in between everyone else. This is not good. <laughs> I, I can't draft the people behind. I can't draft the people ahead. Do I try and catch up? Do I try and slow down? Bro, I got the countdown. This has gone incredibly impeccably well, as you can see. It's more about the assists. It's not an issue of skill. It's, I'm not even gonna fucking finish. Are you taking the piss? Are you taking the piss? What? No, I am not having it. Wait. Oh, no. That's the new car. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is... This is going to be interesting. Is that... Really that good? The Evo 9? Oh, God. We're going to have to see if we see a lot more of that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Anyway, there you go. I wasted my money on this thing. Don't buy it. It's your piece of crap. Uh, uh, heavy stuff only makes sense if it's like racing or off-road. Otherwise, absolute tosh. Rubbish. Don't buy a Lamborghini Urus. At all. Disgrace. 